factorizing in main. Let's head into main and suppose we want to factorize 60. So action transform factor and we'll choose the top factor. Enter 60 and tap execute. And the prime factor of factorization of 60 is displayed 2 squared times 3 times 5. Other ways of doing the same thing, we could have entered 60, tapped execute, action, transform, factor, factor, and tapped execute again, the same result. Or we could have started off with 60, selected it, and headed off to the interactive transformation factor, factor menu. There's no wizard, it just factorizes. Uh, right, let's move on and look at some algebraic factorizations. So we'll clear um, everything out the way there and start off with the expression to factorize x squared minus 2x, take 15 and tap execute. It's always a good idea to tap execute just to make sure that the expression that you type in ends up over here. Sometimes the x can disappear, which warns you you need to do something like a clear all variables. Right, so we've tapped it in. Now let's just take the quick way. Action, transform, factor. Put the word factor on the next line, over and press execute, and the expression's factorized. Um, other ways of doing it, suppose we wanted to factorize x to the power of five minus x. We could have selected, chosen the interactive, transform, factor, factor, and again, class bad wraps it in brackets and factorizes the expression for us. Um, there are a few other different types of factorizing you might have noticed under the menu, so let's tidy things up and start again. Suppose we want all the real factors of x squared minus three. We'll type in x squared minus three, tap execute, yep, it's all good. Now, on the next line, if we just put our regular factor, this one, then you'll see class bad really doesn't do much. But we know that we can actually factorize this uh, using some thirds. So let's try again. We'll uh, um, start again. I'll copy the expression down, tap execute. And this time we'll go to the action transform factor, but we'll use the real factor, r factor expression. When I tap execute now, it's factorized over uh, these real numbers here. Last one is if we want to factor out a particular um, variable or number. So let's tidy up and start again. This time we'll have uh, an expression, maybe uh, 5x take uh, plus 6 squared. Now, we won't actually expand that out. We'll let classpad worry about that. What we're going to do is select the expression and I'm going to use the interactive menu this time because it's one of those things we don't do a lot and it reminds you of the steps that are required. So interactive, transformation and factor out. Classpad's picked up the expression we want to factor out. Suppose I want to factor out the number five. I can put five on the next line, tap OK. And there we can see that Classpad's expanded the expression and then factored out the number five from that. Um, we could also factor out algebraic terms and so on. And we're done.